we move on to question 19 of Ulangan paper in 2022. So the first one is to explain the existence of drift velocity in a conductor, and then to explain the effect of an increase in temperature of resistance of a conductor and a semiconductor. So both these questions already explained in the syllabus. So we just go through it. So the first one about the drift velocity is that uh, we have the free electrons that move randomly in a metal. So when the metal is connected to a battery, we have electric field and that causes the free electron to drift toward the positive terminal of battery while still co continue to collide with the metal atoms. So the net motion of electrons towards the positive terminal and that is the drift velocity. So the next one is to explain the effect of temperature. So we can link it with the formula that we have derived in the syllabus that the conductivity is equal to n e squared t over m where n is the electron density, electron charge, and t is the time between collision and then the mass of electrons. So for conductors, the metal ions vibrate faster and with greater amplitude when temperature increases. So this gives higher frequency of collisions, means they collide more frequently and it reduces the mean time between collision. So from the formula, we can see that when t decreases, the conductivity of the conductor is decreasing and this causes the higher resistance of the conductor. And as for the semiconductor, so it reacts differently in hotter temperature. There will be more free electron release, which increase the electron density. So when electron density increases, it increases the conductivity of the semiconductor. So the resistance is decreasing. We move on to question C. Copper wire of length 20 meter, diameter 1.5 millimeter, and resistivity 1.6 at times 10 to 1 negative at ohm meter. So for this question, I feel that there's something wrong or maybe I'm not really understand the question. So if you have different opinion than my own, you can leave it in the comment section below. So we just go through the question first. We have the current 1.7 ampere flows in the wire when the potential difference of 5 volt is applied. Calculate the drift velocity of free electrons. So from what I can see there, I can just apply the formula I equal to NAV since we have all the information needed. So for example, like the current, we have 1.7 ampere. Uh, electron density is given as 8.4 times 10 to the power 28 free electrons per meter cube. And then for the area, we can just apply the pi d squared over 4. Then we have the diameter of the copper wire and then the electron charge. So from here, I can see that there are two information that are not included in the solution, which is the resistivity and the potential difference. So I think uh, this is uh, my sample answer. So if there's something wrong here, you can let me know in the comment section. So answer for this one, uh, from my suggested answer is 7.16 times 10 to negative 5 meter per second. We move on to the next one. Constantin wire has a similar length, resistant with copper, and if the resistivity of the constantin is twice than that of copper, calculate the diameter of the constantin wire. So we can review the formula of the resistant given as the raw air over A, and it says that the length and the resistance, R and L, are similar. So we can see that uh, we can have the relationship that the resistivity is proportional to the area of the wire. And then for the area of wire, it is given as pi d squared over 4. So we can relate the resistivity is directly proportional to the square of the diameter. So from here, we can build the equation rho 1 over rho 2 equal to d1 over d2. So the statement says that the resistivity of the constantin is twice than that of copper. So rho one, rho 1 over rho 2 is equal to 2. So the diameter of the copper given as 1.5 millimeter. So put in the values here and the diameter is equal to 3 times 10 to the negative 3 meter. So that's all for question 19. Thank you.